Good morning and welcome back to Colonia, the old Polish farm. Um, it's December now, pretty cold out. I think we got a bit of a chill going on. No snow yet, that's good. A little coffee here. We stayed up uh, into the evening last night. working over at the other farm we took all the excess chaff that we had that we couldn't fit into our silage pit and we made a silage pit over there so we've got some more silage blanketed over there this one over here is fermented we could start using it which is good because our cows are hungry uh, I let them eat through all the total mixed ration that we had and so now they are consuming the hay that was in the in the barn I think probably first thing we'll do is we'll take milk up they're about out of food <laughs> there's nothing in here right I check that episode or two ago uh, so see what's going on in here um no oh, there's still 6,000 liters of hay that's not bad so there's enough milk to take plenty enough milk to take it's 1600 on this farm right um we can get some more straw in here so we got the loading wagon full we'll put that in here and then we'll start mixing up total mix ration we'll let them eat on this hay a little bit maybe eat all of it uh let's see got eight calves that i need to move over to the other farm i think i got eight that are 80 percent reproduction And another four that are eighty percent reproduction. And another four. Uh oh, <laughs> that's more cows than I got room for. I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do about that. And then this is fermented, so we can take this blanket off and start chewing away at the silage and make it not. Uh, Total mix ration. Got two. Oh, there shouldn't be anything over here. I turned the greenhouse off in the last episode. Got weeds growing in here. Uh, this is what happens when you switch over to a new month. You see the weed growth and the crop growth and so on. So that means we should see growth in our winter wheat fields, though, right? There's nothing in here. I think we just. We just cultivated it. We don't have a direct drill, do we? No. Let's see. So yeah, the winter wheat's growing here. And the winter wheat's growing over here. And then I think stones are growing up here. <laughs> we have to... We have to stone pick this one yet, and now we got weeds in it. I wonder, will the stone picker take the weeds away? Or will it just knock them back and then they'll come back? I don't know. I have not seen what happens when you do that before. I guess we'll find out. I need to put another bee box in and keep saying that. Okay, so I tuned the stones up, but I think I think when it spawns in and makes the map, it probably piles them up again. <laughs> so I don't know. I can't figure out. Is there a place to buy stones on here? 
I need to sort out this manure, too. Good God, yeah. But I already split. I have so much manure and uh, slurry. I should buy the biogas plant, I think. I don't know how much it costs. <sighs> Something else I'll need to check on, right? I don't know why I'd leave that in third person. I don't know. I don't think we took any dairy products to the uh, market yesterday, did we? I don't, I don't think we had anything ready. So it's December, so yeah, there's not... It's not going to be contracts or anything to speak of. We got work to do. I think first thing we'll do is we'll worry about the cows and then we'll get up and get this field stone picked maybe we'll cultivate the field over at the other farm yeah hard to say <laughs> get this in here and get it chugging away. I think we're producing milk uh, more quickly than uh, we have. Jeez, just one. close to a cheese pile. That's probably why. Alright. Go ahead and leave that there for now. I think we're getting to the point with our tank here that maybe we can... Uh, start delivering milk two times a day, maybe do it once in the uh, once in the morning and once in the afternoon. I think you're supposed to, I think one milks dairy cows two times a day, once in the morning and once in the afternoon. So that would kind of simulate that sort of uh, process. I think we're going to Pretty soon we're going to be at the point where we're going to need to get milk from both locations. Perhaps we could take our oldest cows, they're only about five years old. But perhaps we could sell the oldest cows and bring more newborns in and turn that light off didn't turn that light off? Huh. I 
better do it before I forget. Which one's got the straw in it? This one, I think. And then I got, I don't know which trailer to keep inside. Or if I need to keep any of them inside for that matter. Uh, my guess is they will probably take all the straw out of the loading wagon. Oh, I'm sure they will, in fact. Maybe. There we go. I should replenish the bedding. Partially replenish the bedding. <laughs> How am I doing on straw over here? I wonder. Doing a very good job. Okay. There's not a whole lot of room. I hope that looks okay. Nope. I don't like clipping through the door. Flip the drawbar through the door. <laughs> A little more. All right. I little did you know that this episode would be rife with OCD. All right. That's about as close as it's gonna get, and that's. Can I leave it like that? It's okay here. That's as good as it's gonna get, I think. Try close those. Close those. Oh, wait. Well, I'm strong here. It did pretty good, actually. So I wonder if I take these. I think these are the ones that might have been out in the rain. So we'll put them in for bedding. And then we'll start using the ones up in the loft in the feed. These are so so small, it's probably not even making a dent in anything. Got that hay fork, right? That's what this thing is. We should get rid of it. 
I haven't used it in years. There we go. That looks pretty full now. And it is full. <laughs> nice. So feeds and uh, next thing gotta concern myself with and close that now. in here <laughs> shouldn't do that it's dangerous uh, on blanket takes a whole blanket off which I don't like but I guess so I need three three of these and that'll be enough for two. Oh wait. Yeah. that was going to happen. The ladders are sometimes a little problematic. Okay, let's see. Let's warm that up. Uh, we'll turn this on. I need to... Also, turn on the field information. That way I can see how much of the bale I've put in. So I want to put in one and a half of these. Um, that's pretty darn good. Um, we'll call that half. Where am I gonna put it? Put it here. And then one of these. Bill will be for the next one. I'll put them inside or half of this, so 350. about the T25 because he's got those lights on the dash and he can't move until the lights go out which is cool it's like I like the old startup sequence on the Z-Tor K25 or 25K whichever it was alright oh so I already got a bucket full sure how that happened, but okay. So I'm 
going to hold off on giving them this total mix ration until uh, I get a chance to eat most of that hay. That might be tomorrow. I don't know. And then once that is, once once they've got that hay eaten, we'll probably spend. And when I say we, I mean. I, the royal we, I probably won't make you watch me make mixer after mixer of total mix ration, but we'll probably just mix up total mix ration until we can completely fill the uh, cow barn. And then we don't have to stay on top of it too religiously. Maybe every couple of days we could top it off. field info off again and then we'll just back this in I'll just drop it off right there I think maybe when I have to make all that total mix ration, I'll see if we can get something a little bigger so it'll go a little quicker instead of doing 2,500 liters at a time. Which generally works for us, but. put those away before I forget yeah that little mixer generally works for us but when you have a lot to do it's a lot more work just because there's it's so small But I mean, that's like everything on this farm. Everything takes a little while because everything's kind of small. Did I look at the honey palette? Is it still just one box? <laughs> I wonder how many years it's going to take. I really need to put in some more hives. Go see what happens in that field and go pick stones. Curious, what's it going to do to the weeds? If anything. Okay, I'm going to turn it on and lower it. 
and then we'll raise it a little bit. And then we gotta go backwards. Did we get him? We got him. Okay, so the weeds go away. But I don't think... I think they're still there. They're just knocking them back in growth state. And they'll probably come back. Oh no, wait. They're not all going away. Some of them going away? No, they're not going away at all. I thought they did when we started into the field. Apparently not. This is going to make it harder to see where the stones are at. I wonder, is this one of those ones that we, maybe we're better off just getting the stones we can see? Hard to tell. Oh. We'll work on this for a little while. go around the border a couple of times and then maybe I'll chase stone. I don't know. I don't know what would be the best way to go about this. certainly reduced the number of weeds that didn't completely eliminate them but um, yeah I don't know if it was at the edges where the stone picker didn't go directly over it that the weeds stayed or exactly how that worked out but I think I got all the stones off of here I'm gonna do a couple of things I'm gonna look at the map just to see if there's any dots on here. And then I'll also check the field info. So let's pull up the map. Okay, so this one does show quite a bit of weeds growing. Doesn't need plowing, right? Doesn't need lime. Um, I guess I gotta turn the weeds. I don't know, it hadn't been mulched. Okay, and the field info. Weeds are small. Needs a weeder. I wonder... I wonder if... Yeah. I just wonder if... <laughs> I wonder if we'll get a mix of small and mediums as new weeds grow in in the next month. I don't know. Yeah. It's almost lunchtime. Let's go drop these stones off. Grab something to eat. And then we'll head over to the other farm. Up. 
going when I do this, but... Let's see what happens. Whoa. Makes a pile pretty big back there. But it, uh, I don't want it to get all piled up in the road, you know? Because that won't be good. a bite to eat. Alright, so it's one o'clock. Um, I was looking into the biogas plant um, to see how much it was. I can't buy it, I don't think, if I don't own the land. And the land costs 73,000 euros. So, yeah. I think we're just going to have to use the manure and slurry to do as many fertilizing contracts as we can. Or we got to... I don't know. I don't know what else we could do. It's actually kind of unfortunate that the weeder that we have also gives it a fertilizing state because it makes me not want to use as much it, you know there's no uh, need to use the manure and slurry more than one application oh shoot I was gonna say I was looking at prices and we're gonna sell the uh, goodness gracious we're going to sell the oats and the potatoes, send them on the train to Osada, but I already took off. <laughs> ah. Alright, well, I guess we can either leave it for tomorrow, oh. or uh, we can do it later. We have time. Not sure how the episode's gonna come out. Came over here, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna cultivate that field over there and then we're gonna pick the stones off of it. I don't know how long that'll take us. Might take us the rest of the episode. Check out the cows here since we're here. And then we'll also look at the new uh, bunker silo that we put in. Let me turn this light off. those doors open? I must have. Alright, how are these cows doing? So in here we've got 16 cows. They're great on straw. They're pretty good on food. Maybe we'll throw a hay bale or two down just for general purposes. But everything else, 8 months and 5 months. And how much more room do I have in here? 14 more. I'm going to bring over 8, I think. No, oh, not that door. Is there even a door here? Or is it... Yeah, there is. Uh... Got plenty of straw over here. What do you think? Throw three in? One. Uh, 
two. And three. I'm just interested to see what it's going to do also. Three. Ah, every time I, I... Oh. And then I fell through. Put that there. Alright, I guess I'll leave that hatch open for now. Uh, it's probably dangerous. That's probably not a good idea. Ladders. I hate the ladders. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna need big blue. Oh. We're gonna go out this way. What am I doing? I don't know. I want to come out here and show you this. So here's the bunker silo we put over here. I was worried about it being a little sloppy, you know me. Uh, I don't even know how much is in here. It was a bit, though. I mean, it's not nothing. So we got even more silage over here. And the manure's piling up. <laughs> Oh, shit. Uh, cultivator is in this one. Yep. <sighs> okay. I guess the price could go up more, but that would have been a good uh, thing to have done. Just because uh, more variety, right, in the episode? If we would have taken it. Now see, I don't know, does it look too high? There. If we do it that way, it's certainly not too bad. Alright. I guess I can turn tight and get out, right? Well, no. This is going to cause problems with the gate now. Gotta be careful. There we go. That's alright. That's fine. So here... This one's gonna be fun to stone pick, I bet. I don't turn on or anything, go ahead and just drive. Gosh, the shadows are just so long. Hard to see. Don't like to have to work with the lights on during the day, but just to be safe, it's probably the smart thing to do. Alright, so this will knock the weeds down, at least for now. And then we'll come back and get the stones off of here. I almost feel like I've done this already. Did I do this already over here? <laughs> I thought I did. I'm looking at the map. I did cultivate this. I thought... I thought I had. 
Okay, so this is a waste of time. <laughs> I did this already. Why didn't you tell me? You're just going to wait and see how long it took me to figure it out. <laughs> that ain't cool, man. can't believe you're going to let me cultivate that field all over again. You knew I did it, too. Will this tractor actually fit in here? It almost looks like it might. lights on, didn't I? So, I'm just over here to stone pick. Which is no fun to watch, but that means we'll get done quicker. Size field. Oh man, this sucks.
it's a little after 3.30. Um, I would have had to cultivate this again. Or yet, it would have taken longer. But still wastes a little bit of time thinking we needed to cultivate it again. I didn't go over it uh, completely. I chased a little bit the stones, but pretty sure we got them all. Yeah. And so the, the weeds have been reduced a bit. But not completely eliminated. And I tried to see if I could pick up stones off of this pile. And I really couldn't. I probably should just pile my stones on there, but I started a pile back in the corner of the uh, yard over here. Is there debris pressure? I can't even remember. Oh, remember that? Didn't mean to drive on the blanket. <laughs> Okay, let's take this back to Pat's and then then we'll uh, go uh, load the truck with oats, take it to the uh, train transfer silo. I think we'll just go ahead and load up our potatoes and sell them at the same time. There was a decent price for potatoes. Above the seasonal high in Osada, we might could get even more, but I'm not going to be greedy. Just want to get it done and sold before I forget. <laughs> this forgetting's not good. I was thinking about sneaking in the path, back way to paths, but I don't want to sneak around the field. They got crop growing in there. Could have been nothing growing in it. I might have gone in that way, but. So when I was thinking about potatoes, I didn't save any seed potatoes, did I? Pretty sure I didn't. I should have. Failed to do so. U.S. Colonia. I wonder what for. Let's find out. Oh. What's going on there? Oh, it's the brick. The brick. Not the wheat. We want that to feed the chickens. Where 
Where did the brick go? Where did the brick go? <laughs> Let me check. What was it? WS Colonia. So anyway, here's the price for oats at Osada. It's twelve forty-six and rising. Seasonal high is eleven fifty-five in the month of December. So I don't know. Maybe we could wait on it. I got out the potatoes. The potatoes getting 423 in Osana. It's dropping. The seasonal high is 39. Nah, I think in January. I think we'll just we'll just do that. Oh. But what was the high demand for at WS Colonia? There it was. It was for sugar cane. <laughs> right. Who's got sugar cane? Yeah, that gravel stones piles not too bad on the uh, track. Alright, so let's just run this up to the train station, we'll load it up, we'll set it off, and that's probably where we'll end the episode, I don't even know how I'm doing on time, we'll see how it works out in editing, hopefully it'll fit together. And then, I don't know, we'll probably get through the winter fairly quickly. The only thing we need to do is watch used equipment. Some tractors came out, but it's just not what I'm wanting. I should probably just go ahead and buy something, but I'm going to hold off. So we'll just be, you know... take care of the cows, run and milk up to the dairy, and uh, selling, selling the uh, dairy products at the market through the winter. We'll see how it goes. Let's see, I'm set up on tip side right. bias over the left side of the belt pit here. There we go. go ahead and offload our oats. terrain is right there and then we'll come over here and wait for it There it comes. Saw the uh, crossing guard arms go down. 
Alright. Um. Yeah, we'll turn the lights on. <laughs> Okay, so we'll put the oats in the first car. Trying to stop. You got the cover open. There we go. Oats. Pull up a little bit. And then I stop, stop, stop. Um, potatoes. There we go. All right. And then we'll just send the train off to Osada. We'll sell all these products and then, yeah, we'll call it an episode once we see how much we get. And we'll, maybe it'll be short, maybe it'll be long. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we're going to go past our farm. There it was. Sell goods in Osada. Ooh, 17,963. I'll take it. We're up at almost 60,000 euros. Tell you what, that's not bad. We shouldn't have to walk back. Hey, I'd like to thank you for hanging out with me here in Colonia, the old Polish farm. If you enjoyed it hit that like button and if you don't subscribe yet why not don't cost nothing see you next time